Hello, and in today's video, I'm going to show you what is absolutely the fastest and easiest way to process and share your author mosaic and 3D models in WebODM. I've covered a few different options for this in the past, including how to set up your own server in Amazon Web Services, but nothing beats this as the easiest way to share, and it requires no special skills whatsoever. So let's get to it. Start by going to webodm.net. If you already have an account, then sign in. Otherwise, click on the sign up button. The good news is that when you sign up, you'll be provided with 150 free credits, which is enough to process a couple of small maps. Also, if you find this video useful, would appreciate it if you'd use the referral link in the description. Once you're signed in, click on the Cloud Platform button. You'll be taken to the normal WebODM dashboard, and here you can create a project load images, process them, and then share them. So let's do just that. I'll start by creating a project. Click on the Add Project button and then give the project a name. We will call this Roof Inspection. And then click Create Project. Then click on Select Images and GCPs. Note that if you've already processed these in WebODM elsewhere, then you can import them instead of processing them using WebODM Lightning which might save you a few bucks. But for simplicity, I'm going to assume you don't have your own instance of WebODM running, so we will process them here. Select the images you want to process and click Open. Check the images appear to be in the right place on the map. Click Review and then click Start Processing. The files will be uploaded and then processing will start. Allow that to finish. You'll receive an email letting you know that processing has finished. Once processing is finished, you'll see several new buttons. In this case, the two we're most interested in are View Map and View 3D Model. Now you can interact with the system showing 2D and 3D models, and you can also show things like camera locations and so on, which is great for when you need to jump to a specific photo. But here's the magic. Down in the right-hand corner, is a little share button. Click on that and you'll be provided with two options, a link and an HTML frame. If you want to share this with a person, click on the link and it will automatically be copied into your clipboard. You can now send that link to anyone and they'll be able to open up the map or 3D view without ever needing to log in. If you have a website and you want to embed the results of this there, then you can do that using the HTML iframe link. And that's it. It just can't get any easier than that. If you don't have a monthly plan, then the results will be available for three days and then deleted. But if you have a monthly plan, then the results will be kept for as long as you have the account. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. As always, I love to hear your comments. So feel free to leave a comment or a question and I will see you in the next video.